Hi, I'm Wynn Austin of Wynn Austin Events. Entertaining at home is one of the greatest joys in life, and nothing brings more comfort to the soul than having friends and family over for dinner. So when I entertain, I'm always looking for, you know, fun and unique ways to display my food and wine. Um, today, I'm here with Beth Mitchell from PB Creates, and she's going to teach us how to make something really fun that's going to be a great addition to your home. So Beth, tell us a little bit about your company and what we're going to make today. Perfect. Thank you, Wynn. So I'm with PB Creates, and we're going to be making um, a charcuterie board. So our company is basically a DIY or BIY company for somebody who doesn't want to know how to make it. But there's a really great quote that says, whenever you're creating beauty, you're restoring your soul. And that really resonates with me because I love to make things and I've been making things all my life and it brings me a lot of joy. We're going to be making this awesome charcuterie board. It's one of my favorite things. I saw it online and I was like, oh, how do you, I want to make something like that. This is our finished product. And basically you can use it for wine or cheese or food or anything like that. But I love it because it's, you can use it for so many things. So do you want to get started? Yeah, sure. Okay. I, lo I love the way it looks. Perfect. Like displaying the type of wine. Yeah, I love it for displaying wine okay. and food, and I also use it for put like fruits out and label like gluten free or allergy free oh, things. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I love. I mean, it's great. And there's just of, there's um, really no. I've been surprised. I made it about six months ago for myself at home, and I made myself actually two of them, and I use it. I use it almost every day. That's amazing. <laughs> so basically, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-stain. We're gonna pre-stain the wood. So we get this piece of wood. So anybody can make this project at home. That's what's cool about it. Home Depot is and Lowe's are really great because they will actually cut your wood for you. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a saw at home and that's you're you're like, oh I can't do this project, mm -hmm. you really you can't because you can go to the guy and they'll do their cuts they'll for you for cuts. free. That's great. And basically then we also then drill the holes in to match our handles, but we'll get to okay. that step later. So Perfect. what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this sponge okay. and we're gonna take this pre-stain and we'll list all the products out. We'll okay. list everything out for, for the on your So this is the pre-stain. This is the pre-stain. Basically, I like to use pre-stain because it helps, I call it, like in female terms, like opening your pores. <laughs> and what it does is it, it allows the wood to take in the stain uh -huh. and just gives it a more rich and like finished look. Without it, it tends to look a little splotchy. So then we go to like making a pizza mode and we just, we do the sides. We do the sides. Because we want everything to look So you consistent. don't need a thick layer, it's very you don't thin. Need, yep, very thin. Basically just doing a thin layer of the pre-stain. Because with wood, it's the wood will only take in what it takes, so there's no okay. need to like dump tons of materials on it, like when you're staining and things like that. It's just mm -hmm. gonna soak in what it wants to soak okay. in. So we just leave this on for like a minute and kind of let this do its thing. Okay. And then all we'll do is just we're just gonna wipe this off. So it even already has like a nicer yeah, like sheen like to it already. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to do our stain and we can use the same brush. Okay. We can use the same brush and these are just foam craft brushes. Super mm -hmm. easy to use. And one thing you always want to do is go in the direction of the wood okay. with the grain. So with the wood, the wood grain. grain. So one way. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I noticed there's different color stains here on your board. So what Correct. stain are we using? We're right doing now? the espresso. Okay, perfect. It's a super popular. It's that natural like wood look. I mean, it has a darker, you know, dark hue to it. I uh -huh. think it's really luxurious. It really, it's great as you can pick whatever you want to match your home mm -hmm. decor. The wood is nice because it really enhances the beauty. You're not covering it up. When you're staining, uh -huh. you see all the natural grain in the wood and you see the beauty of the wood still versus paint. Which covers oh, okay. it, makes it more like a piece of furniture. It's it still has more natural. So in our workshops, that's what we try to do, like bring people together and let teach them how to do something like uh -huh. this they wouldn't normally, you know, normally would do. Like we like to say, like we bring your pins off the computer and into your hands so that you can actually, you have thousands of things pinned like most of us do, but we don't ever make them because we don't take the time or the steps. We're gonna yeah. do this, okay. we're gonna do the sides too so that it's all finished. You can actually do it in like a kit as well where you take it home and do it yourself. And that's, I mean, we're super flexible whatever people wanna do because we do parties at people's houses. And it's just, it's just a great way to connect mm -hmm. and it's kind of a foolproof, kind of a foolproof project that you're making. And what's cool is once you kind of learn and master this process, 
you could go and have them cut, you know, do a 12 foot piece of wood, a yeah. 36 foot piece of wood. There's lots of cool things like I saw online where people actually did it's, a. It's like eight, six to eight feet, mm -hmm. right? Yep. I really like that. I love, um, you know, it's kind of fun working with your hands and making something too. Yes. Do you notice that's like a big movement today? Or like I know brides love, yes. you know, even if they have a nice wedding, they like to just do like one one item or one thing for I, their wedding. I think it really is. I think it's, I think it's a way in this like high tech, like fast world to, mm -hmm. to disconnect and come back, you know, do things back to basics. And I think people really love receiving a gift like mm -hmm. this more than we can all go on like you know a big box retailer and have something delivered yeah. to us in two hours mm -hmm. but if I know that you made, made it. this for me it means a lot you know it means yeah. a lot I know that I you took that. the time and you care so normally you can leave this on for like 10 15 minutes okay. we'll for the interest of time we'll wipe it because we'll have to let it dry okay. but it's not it's it's okay because you can layer up the stain if you want okay. but it has a really it has a really nice rich color already yeah. so and what I love about staining wood is that you don't cover, you're not covering up. Yeah. You're not the covering natural. up anything. The natural beauty of the wood. And it really, that's what's cool about it. You can match it to your home. Yep, the sides. Your home decor. And then we're going to flip it over. And because, you know, if you're giving this for a gift or in your home, either way, I like to, I like to stain, I like to stain the back too so you have a finished product. Mm -hmm. So it has a nice finished look to it. Nobody's flipping over the back of your stuff at your house, but you know. So yeah, it has a nice look. <laughs> It's you like, know. oh, it's just a piece of, so, but it, it's fell part of transforming it into something that it wasn't before. Because think about this is just, you know, this could be a piece of wood you had from a leftover project at your house that you'd make this into. You know, I probably have a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so, I think people are searching for some way to, like, have a creative outlet and let themselves, like, just get I their agree. hands dirty. No, it looks great. that looks good. looks great. Perfect. And this... We can wipe off right away because okay. it's going to be it's just the back. It's just the back, but okay. at least you're going to have a nice finish. Yeah, it still looks like finished. Mm -hmm. Yep. Especially if you're getting it away or having, even if it's on your house, if you're storing it, you don't want to see the exposed part. Oh, no. That would drive me crazy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? You're like, oh. No. So. I'm like, ah, oh, it's just a piece of wood. Perfect. <laughs> Besides, yep. This, and so at this point we want to let this dry. dry for like 10 minutes before we go on to the next step. So Okay, so perfect. perfect. Well perfect. Now we, we stained it, we wiped it, and we let it dry. Okay. And you want to let it dry because basically now we're gonna be creating this like box border. Uh-huh. And this is simple. You don't I mean the great thing about this project, you don't really even need a lot of tools. So okay. what we're doing here is let me make sure that's like the masking tape. Yeah, we it's right. it's a painter's tape. Painter's tape. Okay. It's a painter's tape and you wanna use an actual painter's tape, not like masking tape, because you don't oh, want it to bleed underneath. Okay. So you want to painter's tape. painter's tape, yep. But then you basically get this nice tight line. And it's already pre-measured and set. So you're not okay. having to, you know, when you're making something, you're trying to line it all up and see if it's right. You don't even have to do that, so it's great. So we're gonna line that one. Okay, so that's Here, you nice do that? and easy. So it's easy. You're just lining yeah. it up to the edge of the wood. There we go. And so then yeah. you just lift it up, line it back up again. And you're creating like a nice, perfect box. border. Mm -hmm. So you still see the beauty of the wood, but then you have the centerpiece part in the the chartreuse part in the middle. Okay. Yep. And then just tear that off. Mm -hmm. Yep, one more. And the other side. It's nice and easy. That was you easy, right? Measure anything. <laughs> I know. Oh my God, you get it perfectly. This is definitely like a great beginner woodworking yeah. project. I love it because. It's so fulfilling to have yes. this quality of a finished product yes. that's almost like you really can't mess up. So once you have this done, what we're going to do is we're going to do the chalk paint. So the chalk has a slate look to it. And that's what we're using is like the chalk okay. paint. So it's okay. really great. And I'll start in this. So what you want to do when you're doing this, you want to start in the center. Okay. This way. And do I just move up back and move forth? up and down with the grain of the wood again? And in the center. Yep. Do it. Start in the center just in case you have a thickness of paint. You want to have all your, you know, no bleeding or anything inside. Okay. Because you're making this like nice, great, clean line. Okay. So you can set that. 
And what's great when you're working with wood and you're starting with pine and you're pre-staining and you're staining and you're building up your layers, mm -hmm. if you do have a mistake, you can correct it. Yeah. You okay. can. You can. How's that? You can. If we have any, I'll show you. If we, I don't uh -oh. think we're going to. Though. Okay. <laughs> so, I am confident. So if you have any bleeding, you can actually take like a razor and clean, and then you can okay. just restain it again. So. Perfect. And we just want to look. See, we have like a couple light oh, spots, okay. so we just so want to touch them up. Those darker, because I think yeah. some part of the wood is a little. Yep. Um, Green. And when you're working with chalk paint, it's it's the same as like when you're working with like a stain. You want to have it all going. Okay. You don't want it gloppy or thick. You want it and it's going to dry okay. and cure. But basically, we want to look, make sure it looks pretty even and consistent. So with this, we'll let it sit like two or three minutes, mm -hmm. two, like maybe yeah. five in real time. Little, okay. And once you set, let it sit for five minutes, it'll just then we'll put another layer on it. Basically okay. Not, it so we'll kind of do great. another yep. second coat. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll let it sit for five minutes. So we're doing the last pass for the second okay. coat. Perfect. Get the second coat. And then what you want to do with painting too is this is this helps if you ever want to paint your baseboards as well okay. or anything. If you want to do some house painting, you always want to peel your tape off when, when it's, it's wet. wet. When it's See, wet. That's where I make my mistakes at yeah. home. So look at this. Look at our beautiful. I can edge. still pull on this side yep. and then pack yep. it. Okay. So look at your edge there, it's so nice. Oh my gosh. When you actually, when you peel off when it's dry, you're actually ripping the paint. Yeah, I saw so, it where it lifts up. Yep, your baseboards will look the baseboards. messy. Oh, look at that. Oh my look goodness. at this teamwork. We don't even have any things to fix, look at that. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that look great? That looks great. So basically with this, you, you wanna show? Mm -hmm. So look at that perfection. <laughs> I love it. That's great. So what we wanna do now is we wanna varnish this and seal okay. the edges because we want a nice like sheen, sheen to, this. to it just like and that finished stays. product. Yeah, okay. exactly. So we're going to do that and that's really easy and quick. Okay. So I'm gonna, and like we don't need, little... and we took our gloves off too because we really don't need our gloves because oh, we're not getting this messy at this messy. point. Okay. And the, when you're working with varnish, you want to use a, a food safe varnish if okay. you're having any food that comes in contact with it. So this you go less is more, you go with the grain of the wood. And if you like a high gloss like look, you can let it dry four do hours, it do another coat. But one coat's really great, it has yeah. a nice look. It still keeps that natural mm -hmm. feel too, instead of like a artificial yes. wood. I know, this is so <laughs> fun. I'll be working in my wood shop, mm -hmm. garage. <laughs> Before you know it. Boards. I love it though, it's like it's everybody. It's so fun. But what a great gift. What a yes. great like party! What a great thing you like to entertain. You bring it to a party, you give it to a party, or you, yeah. if you want, you're gonna have a larger party and you have several of them out. You can send them home with people. That looks great. It's nice, the chalk has a nice, creates a nice edge for you. It has that darker, with a wooden cut, so it has a darker look to it, so it looks nice. Really pretty. Varnished. We're almost done. We have our I last step. So our last step where we're just gonna put the knobs on. Okay. It's a little wet, but because we're we're in the interest of like time, we're gonna put the screw through okay. like that, okay. and then we're gonna tight put the handles on. I love these handles. They're great. They're just they're just from like a big box retailer, and really you can you get can whatever you want. you want. And again, too, it's like if you're trying to do like even like a lower budget option, you could do um, rope. Oh, but a rope, the rope look is really cool, That's especially if you're having like an outdoor venue. You know, and that takes your cost way down too, and it has a really nice. And you can like, do look. seasonal mm -hmm. uh, rope and do like a gray, yep. or whitewash, and yes. have it more like a um, like a seaside, seaside. look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's, That's really. That's a really cute idea. There's lots. Of, I mean, there's just there's really. You're only limited by like your imagination. Let's see if I can handle yeah. this. Yeah, want to do that? Yeah. Okay, we're in. Tighten that in. Mm -hmm. 
And it's great because taking the time to drill, and again, I, I skipped that step because we pre-did that, but we just took the screw, we took the knob, and we pre-drilled with a screw drill, with a drill, and just drilled the hole through the wood so that they would have that would be ready to go. And then yeah, we're done. We're all done. Look at yeah. that. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Well, thank you for joining us today, and you'll be able to see the the video and also all of our all of the instructions and care um, on both of our blogs at winaustin.com and also pb-creates.com. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.